Aloha and welcome back to High Now Daily. Mahalo Nui for joining us and mahalo to the both of you for such a beautiful way to kick off our show today. We have uh, Kumuhula Carl Vito Baker as well as Kumuhula Michael Lanakila Kasupang. Mahalo Nui. Aloha. Thank you for having us. Mahalo. Yeah. That's such a beautiful way to kick off this show. And uh, we've been celebrating Culture Week all week over here uh, on High Now, getting ready for all the festivities taking place next week. We wanted to talk to you uh, about Mere and what's taking place with this Queen's uh, Aloha Luau. Oh. We decided to um, open an all Hawaiian hula luau because, um, you know, I'm an older person, so when I used to, when I was young and you went to Waikiki, you could go from one Hawaiian to show to the next. But unfortunately, you can't do that anymore. There's, there's not too many. So we wanted to do our part instead of grumbling, do our part so visitors as well as um, people that live here can re-engage, they can learn, the visitors can learn about us, who we are, and um, the local people can re-engage because it's all about us, all about Hawaii, all about Hawaiians, all about our culture, you know, mm -hmm. so. I think what's really special about this place, it's called the Queen's Aloha Luau, named after Queen Lili'o Kalani. And the property that um, it takes place as Kiono Nolani is, is the name of our place there, um, was a land deeded to Kumuvito's great-grandmother, Mary, Ke Mary Keonauna. She was a lady-in-waiting to Queen Lili'o Kalani. So the land that we are on and fortunate to be a part of and have our halau there, is, is sacred land that was was a gift from the queen. So that's what, you know, that, that name comes from. Um, also to to express that that love that she had for her people. So the name Queen's Aloha Luau really is something that has, has meaning, meaning for us. Yeah, you know, Kaido, when we travel the world, because um, people always want to see Hawaiian things, and when we do our Hawaiian shows, no matter where, Asia, the continent, Europe, they're hungry to know about Hawaii, to know about our Hawaiian culture. And when they come here, where's the Hawaiians? Mm -hmm. So it's important for us, and to have this setting at Keonanalani, we, we do the show on a, like our kupuna used to, on a pahula. Instead of in a building, it's on a pahula, four tiers, and natural setting, all the plants there, you know. Um, and people are like amazed mm -hmm. because um, they won't be able to see something like that anywhere else in Waikiki. So, you know, bring them to Paoa. Come to Paoa and see the Hawaiian Luau. Uh, tell us about the experience. What can people expect when they go? Obviously, hula is going to be a part of it, but it is a, it's a full show. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, what's really wonderful, it's like, it's where we teach, it's where that EK is passed on and we're welcoming them into our home and it's very intimate. It's a small boutique luau, about, you know, a hundred. Mm -hmm. And so they get a, really a sense of the, our, our, the way that we teach, the place that we teach, the ambience, ambience that it's in. And then also um, we serve local food. What would we mm -hmm. go when we go to a party? It's not always Hawaiian food, but you know, we have uh, terry steak, terry steak, <laughs> pull out chicken, oh yum, and I'm white fish, you know, and island fish yeah. with lemon caper butter sauce is to die for, and then you know all the starches and everything. But people enjoy themselves. You know, I, I grew up in a very poor family. You don't waste food, but when you go and you see all of these tourists take a take a bite of the luau stew and then they throw everything away. Oh, your heart just sinks. Mm. So we decided not Especially to with Hawaiian food, it is a labor of love. Right. Many of hours going into cooking and making it. And absolutely. it's our resources too, right? You're wasting it. So we decided not to do that. But where the Hawaiian part comes in is, you know, when they're in the halal, they're immersed with the drums, the ipus, the ukulele, the uli uli, all of the implements that's being used. And they have dinner in there and we have live Hawaiian music playing while they're having dinner and screens of, of, with hula going on. And then we open the doors and they come out and then we have a, it's like a theater with, with benches and then you look up to the pa hula and it's like a mountainside like this. And, and it's all lit up now at night. So they're like, wow, you know? But we have people come and say, 
I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to ex say what I just felt mm -hmm. this past hour. I said, you felt who we are, our Hawaiian spirit, and we need to share that. Because our ali'i especially, they were very inclusive, mm -hmm. and they love to share our experiences with whoever came to visit us. Kumo, how do people get more information about the luau? How do we find tickets and, and go ahead and check it out? Thequeensalohaluau.com. And everything's there. It has. It's, we have a beautiful website built by our students. I think the other thing is that the dancers are all of our our students. The people that are serving are all of our students. So it's really the you know it's just like yeah, the hostess, the waiter, everybody, everybody. The, yeah. the person who serves tea is our student. <laughs> you know. And we serve local teas um, made locally. Mamaki. Mm -hmm. There's a hibiscus tea. Um, just really, yeah, and it's, it I, is. I tasted it, so it's all good. So it's we're offering a very unique experience that is more intimate mm -hmm. and that is really centered on Hawaiian culture. And come to the show because it's all Hawaiian. Yeah, you know, um, when you go, to, when we went to Tahiti, we learned about Tahitians. When they come here, they want to learn about us. So that's what we do. That's different than most of the other luau. It's no. You know, we love our cousins down south, but this is Hawaii, yep. and we need to show who we are and why we feel that Hawaii is so special. Who absolutely. Now, don't forget, it's a truly authentic Hawaiian experience, and coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to have another live performance. But right now, we're going to toss things upstairs into the Hainau Kitchen. Rachel's standing